I feel like I like don't know how to vlog anymore because I haven't done it in a year, but we're gonna try. Uh <laughs> everybody welcome to a reading vlog it is currently august 20th 2022 i have not done a reading vlog since last august like 2021 i've just been really busy with my job i usually work as a supervisor for a before and after school program we've obviously been off for the summer since there is no school but i went and worked for a summer camp where i was basically running the camp so i was working from 7 45 till 3 and then i would come home and just like not do anything i would like veg out on netflix i would lay in my bed or i recently got a new boo thing so i've been kind of hanging out with him for the majority of my time so not a lot of reading has been done not a lot of videos have been filmed so you probably noticed that on my channel that i've basically only been filming wrap-ups and tbrs and like uploading really old fetus j videos but exciting news i'm semi back my boyfriend is going away to pei for a little while so i'm going to be home by myself for a long time and not have anybody to go hang out with so there will be a lot of reading there will be a lot of pouting but i'm going to take you along with me on this journey it's currently 4 50 p.m i got home a little bit ago from going to brunch with the boo thing and i've kind of just been hanging out i cleaned my room because it was a disaster i haven't really been home much because i've been at his house or i've been working so i finally have like some downtime because he's going axe throwing with his friends tonight which means i'm home all by myself i was supposed to go to cactus fest with my mom but it is currently 30 degrees celsius outside and it is way too hot to exist so we ended up not going which means that i am going to be doing stuff here i finally filmed one of those if you like this try this videos so that will be up on my channel like i said i cleaned my room which means i was listening to an audiobook it was the favor by nora somebody but i finished it while i was cleaning so now i have to choose a new book to read but this one i gave a four out of five stars it basically followed two women who were having very similar lives where they had abusive husbands and they each committed a favor for one another and it was basically the police trying to figure out how these two were somehow connected it was actually really good it was really entertaining i would definitely recommend it if you are looking for a like domestic thriller that isn't like super fast paced but also isn't super slow paced like it had a very nice pacing and it definitely kept me invested in the story throughout the whole thing because you were kind of like rooting for the detective to figure out how these two were connected but you never really knew if he was going to get there or not but i think it was a lot of fun but now I have to choose a new audiobook because I still have a little bit of cleaning to do. And then I also think in this vlog, I am going to start reading my friend Molly's new novella, which I'm really excited about, but it's called Riding the Headless Horseman. <laughs> but it's basically an erotica not 100 percent sure if the girl got like kidnapped by the headless horseman or if she like willingly goes with him but they're gonna have a lot of steamy sex so i personally love molly's books she is currently writing the third book in the library of teeth series which i am actually going to be a character in which i'm so excited about i gave both first books 4.5 out of 5 stars and i just think her writing is so unique and fun so if you haven't checked out the library of teeth series it's like a sexy vampire romance kind of thing and I really enjoyed it. It's definitely an underrated series. Not a lot of people have read it that I know of but I think everybody should because like I said so much fun, so much sexy time. It's just a really good time but I'm going to go start this headless horseman thing because i told her i would read it this week so it needs to get done it's only like 88 pages so i should be able to read it pretty quickly and then i will end up picking a new audiobook the one thing that i can say about molly's writing is that i think she is so subtly funny like arletta just got kidnapped and she's like begging to be let go from the headless horseman she's like begging for her life and he's just like no and then the next line is just great great chat and i'm like that is my humor like it is so subtle i personally think that the best thing in like fan fictions or like romance novels is when it's like oh and then it's like italicized oh when like something steamy or sexy is happening and so she's being held by the headless horseman like around the waist on his horse and like pressed up against him she's like i wriggle against him and in doing so i feel something push against my lower back oh oh he may not be endowed with a head but he clearly makes up for it in 
other departments. So you just know that shit's about to go down. It's about to get real spicy knowing Molly's writing. So I gotta go. I, I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. I know that Molly's not like giving me a shout out in this book but it says that the trees are a little gaunt and like my last name is gaunt so i'm just gonna pretend that like molly had me in mind like even though i know that it means like skinny i'm just gonna say that she was thinking of me anytime i see gaunt in a book i'm always like yep shout out to me so girl thanks molly love you so much molly hits again with the subtle funny line so now arletta is in the headless horseman's like cave and he's like i don't want you dead i like you alive and she's like oh good me too <laughs> it's like subtly funny like i love molly's writing okay one thing i will say that i don't really like understand about like the appeal of fucking the headless horseman is that he doesn't have a head right which means he doesn't have lips which like I, personally, am a big fan of kissing. So, like, how do you kiss the headless horseman? It's just, like, air. Because in the, in the story, he just took off his head and, like, placed it on a table. And that got me thinking. Like, how is this going to work? I'm sure Molly came up with a way, but I am kind of fuzzled. It's 47% in and they're about to bone. But <laughs> Arletta's like, oh, what do I call you? And he's like, master. And she's like, absolutely not. And like, if that's not me, then I don't know what is. I am a big fan of this woman. We love strong female characters. They boned. It was a great time. But now she's like, oh, I want to call you by a name. And he's like, oh, I don't remember my name. And he's like, oh, pick a name. And <laughs> the only thing that ran through my head was jeff and why i thought the headless horseman would be named jeff i don't know but that is the name i am giving him so now please refer to the headless horseman as jeff thank you i just finished the riding headless horseman novella i love molly's mind i just think that she is so creative and the shit that she comes up with is just so much fun like i've said throughout this entire vlog she's just so subtly funny with her writing I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 because, like, that shit is so much fun. Like, it is the perfect Halloween book if you're into, like, erotica. You'll like this one. You'll like it. Just saying. But now it is 6.43. I had dinner already. My mom and I are going to watch Drag Race Down Under because we watched Drag Race Canada yesterday. We were caught up on Love Island. The new episode doesn't come out until 9 p.m. So we're waiting. Let me know down below if you watch Love Island and like who you are rooting for. I have like favorite girls and favorite guys, but like I hate who they're coupled up with. So like Deb is my favorite girl in the entire world, but not a big fan of Jess just because of how he acted at the beginning of the series but I will say that he has grown on me Phoebe I absolutely despise that she is such a fucking snake and like she's like oh I'm a girl's girl I like love girls like I'm all for the girls but then she's like trying to steal literally every single person's man and she has a connection with everybody like <laughs> shut up I just I can not with Phoebe so I think America needs to vote Phoebe out and Deb needs to pick somebody better Sydney deserves better I think my favorite couple is Zita and Timmy just because they're like so sweet together and he actually treats her well so we've changed our minds and now we are going to the cactus festival it was just too stinking hot yeah it was like 30 degrees so we were like mm, yeah no and now it's colder it's still hot it still says 30 degrees, but it doesn't feel like the sun's not beating down on you. It's not as bad, so we're going to go. We don't have any idea what it is. You know what I thought would be there, possibly? What's your favorite thing to get when you go to elephant these? Elephant ears? Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Do the states have elephant ears? I don't know. A basically deep fried ball of dough. I think it's not like flattened ball. out it's to be. It's like, like I think it's ear. the funnel cake mixture, but not like it's. Well, it's just a flat piece of deep fried dough and it's amazing. And then you put stuff on top of it. I usually get brown sugar and maple syrup and icing sugar on top. And it is chef's kiss. So a good. caloric nightmare, but yummy. It's so good. So fingers crossed it's there. <laughs>
Another puppy. The puppy, the baby. Look at the baby. This is my dream doggo, is a corgi. Look at him. Look at the baby. I want the baby. I want the baby. Ooh. So many things. There she is. <laughs> the good stuff. Oh. Oh, yeah. The baby, look at him. Oh, look at his tongue. Look at the baby. A year in the fridge, two years in the freezer. Tell the people what you bought. <laughs> we bought some garlic bread spread. And it's delicious. Mom's excited. I'm so excited for baked potatoes. Mm. I'm excited for popcorn. How much was it? Too, too much. Too much. Cheers, Mama. Say how much the drinks are. Too much. <laughs> what I got. He said it was sweet and it is not sweet. It is very sour, but it's yummy. Mom got Long Island iced tea because that's all she ever gets. Hi, it's now actually Sunday. I was at the Cactus Festival with my mom until like, I want to say like 9 30 ish and then we drove home we watched some rupaul down under today uh was going to be just a day of reading but now i'm going to walmart with my mom and the dollar store and then i'm going to go see my boo thing because apparently he's not as hungover as i thought he was gonna be so he wants to hang out which is exciting because i didn't think i was gonna see him until like halfway through next week but until then i am actually reading a little bit. I picked a new audiobook, so I picked One for All by Lily Lanoff, and I am on part 5 of 11. So, chapter 15 is about 40% through. It's basically a gender bent Three Musketeers where the main girl Tonya, she has POTS. Her dad was one of the musketeers and then he dies. And so she gets shipped off to a finishing school which turns out to be teaching young women how to be part of the musketeers. So far it's entertaining. I don't think it's anything like mind blowing but it is fun to read so I am having a good time. But I'm not even halfway through yet, almost halfway through and not too much has happened. So she's made it to the finishing school now so I'm hoping that now that she's there and she's starting to go on like missions it's gonna get a little more interesting because there's a lot of backstory but we'll see it's currently 12 30 so i need to go make some lunch we're going to walmart walmart to get a stepping stool because mom gardened outside and made it all dirty so now she doesn't want to bring it back into the kitchen correct and then we're gonna go to the dollar store probably to get a squeegee because mom got her bathroom redone and it is gorgeous <laughs> But our shower is now a huge wall of glass on all sides, so we need a ceiling. And it is so big. <laughs> I will insert a video of me dancing in it. <laughs> I'm very excited about the shower. <laughs> and then I think that's all. Some groceries. Yeah, groceries. Nothing exciting. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go see the boo thing. The boo thing. The boo thing. I never say his name. Eh. Nobody knows his name. Nobody will know his name. A mystery unless, man. Unless you add him to your vlog. Yes, unless he says, one day wishes to be a part says, of. Says, let me in to this vlog. <laughs> let me in! I want to be famous! Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Why? Because we can. Cheers, me baby. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So I just got to a boy's house. So I'm going to end the vlog now because obviously I'm not going to be vlogging when I'm with him because we like to just spend time together and not touch our phones. So thanks for joining me on the weekend reading vlog. I'll probably do another one of these in two weekends because boo thing will be in PEI so I'm not going to be busy which means I have time to actually read so stay tuned for that I'll see you guys soon and uh I love you thanks for watching bye